everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Adobe Live. We are coming live from San Francisco today. If we're just meeting, my name is Katrina Trujillo. I am the Adobe Express evangelist, as well as the content creator on the side, and I'm your host for today. And for, as our guest, we have Paul Trani. Would you Hi. like to introduce yourself? Hello, everybody. Paul Trani, a uh, uh, technical evangelist for Adobe, so but designer at heart, and always will be. So uh, I'm looking forward to the segment, which is all about design and express. Love it, love it. Shout out to everyone in chat today. Hi, Cody. Hi, Janine. Hi, Roland. Hi, Kylie. Welcome to the stream. I love to see it. Um, but before we get started, we have a couple of announcements, especially if you're just tuning in. Um, the big news today, Adobe Express is out of beta. Oh, my goodness. Heck yeah. It's That's about amazing. time. About time. About time, Adobe. No, right? <laughs> Oh. Just <laughs> so um, if you're working in Adobe Express right now, you should have noticed that it all should have automatically updated. All your files are in one place now. You don't have, there's no more prior version of Express or beta of version of Express. It's all one place now. Um, but if you are new to Adobe Express, you can get there by going to adobe.com forward slash express, and it is completely free to get started. So it looks something like this on the home page. Um, and then the website is looks something like this, and just say get Adobe Exp Express for free, and it'll take you right through the steps to get you signed up. Um, and if you're interested in the premium version, it is $9.99 per month, um, but there's also a 30-day free trial if you would like to try it out. But if you are a Creative Cloud member, it is completely free with your membership, and it works seamlessly with all of your Adobe Creative Cloud apps. Paul, would you like to talk about oh, what well, that means for that? Yeah, all the Creative Cloud apps. Well, I mean, yeah, so we have all these fun toys in our toy box, as I like to say, with all the tools. Um, and this is like a new thing added to our toy box that like, you know, we just didn't have, uh, you know, yesterday, figuratively speaking, I guess. but. Yeah, so so today I think it's going to be fun to take sort of like Illustrator content. We can do a little bit of Photoshop, but like bringing that content in so it's like no different from my workflow, designing in Creative Cloud like in Illustrator and then bringing that stuff to life, which is going to be fun with animation and video in Express, which I think is cool. So kind of like today I'm kind of treating it like a fun animation and uh, like video tool, if you will, just for quick animation and video. So it's going to be fun. Nice. All right. I think Elijah nailed it. That's awesome, man. All caps. <laughs> I love it. He's just yelling at his laptop. I love it. I do too. So it's going to be fun. And Ambal, you, are you going to bed? It's too early. It's too early We're just, for Yeah, I mean, the party's just getting started. It's just getting started. <laughs> so I'm ready to kind of share my screen. Should we do this? Yes. Should we kind of dive in? Let's I just go. like I wanna I wanna get started. Here I am in Illustrator. Um, and I just like quickly kind of create some stuff. Again, just kind of dragging out a star. This is this will be kind of fun for you, Katrina, because like mm -hmm. as a as a communicator and uh, you know not spending a lot of time in these tools, you'll get to learn some Illustrator stuff. Too. I I will. Yeah. Yeah. This is super fun. So I just took the the star tool off to the side, and uh, you know, again, we're just starting from scratch. And then as I, as I do up and down arrows, right, <gasps> we can make a fun little like burst sort of thing. Nice. That's almost too many points. Uh, as I even add even more. <laughs> um, so let's make that a little bit less. Uh, get that down. And then there's different tricks for like holding down the option key will get rid of uh, oh. the sort of the inner inner spire and then the command key will just adjust. So if I'm making a badge, this is kind of how I do it. And this is this is one of many ways. But you know, sort of there's there's our badge, you know, that we'll get started with. And uh, make sure it just it doesn't have a you know, a stroke. And we'll just add some text to this because today we're going to be dealing with, I think it's going to be fun to deal with classic novels, right? So I'm just going to type that in. And again, we're starting from scratch and we're going to bring this into Express super quick. So this will be good. Ooh. And we're here for your questions, by the way. So feel yes. free, throw them at us like, hey, what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Four cups of coffee. Just kidding. Four. <laughs> just joking. It's going to feel like four cups of coffee, but technically it's only two. So anyway, just jump in here, do a little bit of this. Let's do classic novels. I would probably do some fun design elements like so, and then make sure we have this saying classic. Because the nice thing, so it's interesting, because I'm like, it's been a while. Like, I will download fonts, but it's amazing that I just typically don't have to mm -hmm. with 
with um, you know the Adobe fonts or the whole font family integrated into Illustrator and then also yeah. um, into ooh Bombarda. That's kind of I'm doing a classic novel sort of stamp. That looks fun. Yeah, so it could could be like that. Everybody, fine. You can judge me. Uh, I could actually <laughs> I might filter it by um, do more of a script based. So again, just kind of having some fun. Let's do Adorn. Let's try that. Classic. Classic novels. So that's the plan. Okay. We're going to be able to easily change this in, uh, in, in, in Express. And uh, we're going to definitely take things to the next level as well. Nice. But, Roland said, mm -hmm. I need coffee, Paul. It's 12 a.m. here. <laughs> 12 a.m.? Holy cow. Yes, you do. Oh, my help, goodness. Help, help the poor man. All right. So... Uh, just throwing this together, and then we're going to... I'm, I'm, so what I'm doing is I added an Adobe font. I have a shape in here, and then I can also have, like, imagery in here as well. So kind of showing you the three elements, probably most common to um, to Illustrator, and even less, less so, by the way, because, like, I don't... You guys might... I don't really use a lot of imagery in Illustrator um, just because it's. I use it primarily as a vector tool, mm -hmm. FYI. Um, but, you know, we could take this, like, abstract piece. And I'll show you just kind of what happens as we bring all this content in. Okay. Which we'll see in a second. But this is kind of cool. We'll stretch that out and get something fun. Hopefully you guys like this as, uh, as I get into it. And might I add, it's, Katrina, it's nice being here with you. Aww. <laughs> it is really it's nice. nice. Being with yeah. you too. I think this is our first ever segment together. Oh, yeah. And it's, just, <laughs> it's nice being around you, like... Of course, uh, we have people running things behind the scenes. Paco's right over there, really the, <laughs> the the man that's the real star of all this, like trying his best to make us sound okay, at, you know. But he's like, oh, I can't help you, Paul. There's only so much I can do. But um, <laughs> so, I anyways, it. It, you know, it's like we kind of work remote. Um, you know, I'm from Denver. Katrina, where where do you live? I'm from San Jose. San Jose. In California, yeah. So she's not too far away, but it's mm -hmm. like nice being in the office. It is super nice. So there we have our classic. Yes. I have a question from Susie. I'm completely new to Adobe. Are there videos that I can go to and follow? Heck yeah. So you're probably, yeah, you're watching this on YouTube, probably right below the, the video you're currently watching. The Adobe Live um, YouTube channel. Yeah, it's look at the Adobe Live YouTube channel is where you'll see a lot of that stuff. And then, of course, selfishly follow us <laughs> on the social medias, by the way, because we both have, like, videos and content out there, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So, so feel free. Um, I think Adobe Live is a good place to get like instant. Yes. You know, like get your questions answered instantly. So now, again, here I'm in Express. E-X-P-R-E-S. Okay. There's, again, it says new. It even says new right up here. So you can go to new.express.adobe.com. Mm -hmm. So this is what I like. You know, start from your content. This is huge for me as a designer. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kylie, what are our socials? What so let's drop socials? that in. Yes. So mine is just at Katrina Trijos, my first and last name on the screen and probably in the description. Um, and then, Paul, what is yours? Uh, just um, Instagram. It's P Tranny, P T R A N I, or Paul Tranny on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to think of where I. Just so you know, I just posted a video to my YouTube, which nice. is Paul Tranny on a lot of this, like going from Photoshop to um, Express. And it's awesome. I just think it's cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. But you judge. All right, so we're in Express now. Oh, familiar territory for Ooh. me. Woo! Yes. I was sweating okay. a little bit. I thought you were going to ask I me know, some right? Illustrator questions. <laughs> yeah. uh, right? But again, I was like starting simply and, you know, kind of, you kind of get the gist of it now. Yeah. It's like pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. So here it comes in. We have our image back there. We have our text right here. All pretty pretty straightforward all from our original illustrator file here's our nice little layers like life doesn't have to be complex mm -hmm. right is, is our hope um, um, uh, so yeah and there we have this uh, sometimes things will come in like grouped so this is you know kind of put it all like sort of in one text block by the mm -hmm. way 
you know, uh, this is what's nice. So I would want to break these out, by the way. A lot of the shortcuts you use like in Illustrator and Photoshop are available in here. So if I hold down the Option key and I click and drag, just by holding down the Option key, that's going to duplicate it. Because that's what I need to do in this case is like get rid of this text here, right? Maybe make sure that C is right there. And then right here, here's Novels. Because I might want to, you know, separate this out mm -hmm. and treat it a couple different ways. Right, so that's what I'm doing right here. I'll zoom back out and you know, orient that accordingly. Even for this, you notice how it's getting a little lost. Isn't the C getting a little lost? Yeah, in the background. Yeah, sure. so it's it's nice, like I don't have to jump back into Illustrator and do all that stuff. I could just come over here on the um, left hand side, you see all the properties, including shadow. Ooh. So that's what I'm adding. Adding a little shadow kind of sets it off a little bit and gives me that sort of level of control. Like a lot of designers, I feel I feel the need to pick a different color, like a, a general a general rule that kind of tells me you're a designer is like what color you use for a shadow. <laughs> mm. This goes back to art school because you're never allowed to paint. When you're painting, you never were allowed to buy black. <laughs> you couldn't buy black. He's like, really? you have to mix it. Yeah, it was mm. just like in painting class, you had to mix your colors. That's and you're only allowed like seven, at least in my, in my art school, uh, seven colors. <laughs> and uh, But also made you realize that like nothing is really truly black or white. It's It takes on the characteristics of the environment. So that's why I'm picking this like this color. I would probably try to sample it from the background, which I could do as well. Come in here and sample this like darker color. And it's a minor thing, but, um, and maybe nobody will notice, but I know I did it. <laughs> I'm like, I'll know. <laughs> nobody else will care. <laughs> but Anyways, just some just some designer stuff. Would love to hear your guys' designer tips. I would actually love to find out like like you're no you know you're a designer if dot dot dot. Ooh. I think that's a fun little question. Like you, you know you're a designer if uh you know maybe it's yeah, like uh fonts pro well the most annoying thing is all caps for pretty much anything. Really? Unless you're a sign, you gotta go all caps, but like a menu and it's like yelling at you. It's like, calm down, menu. <laughs> if, you do, if you're not a designer, like you want every, it's like everything is important. Mm -hmm. But in, as you know, in marketing, no, primary, secondary, tertiary, what, what are your reads and establish the reading order? But just like all caps drives me is, is yeah. a thing. <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> anywho, <laughs> let's go on a rant, huh? <laughs> shall we? <laughs> no, we don't have to. All right, so here's that shape, by the way. Here's the it. shape I did in uh, good old Illustrator, and that comes through as well. So if I decide I want to make it or give it a border, I can give it, you know, a white border, crank it up, right? So you can just kind of get an idea. Ooh. By the way, I love how smooth this is. Hey, this is what I want in Illustrator. Hey, Illustrator, I just <laughs> want a scrubby, just do this, do a scrubby thing. Yeah. Ooh, this will look nice. Wait, what's the flow in Illustrator? It's not Well, a you have to do it. Or you have to put in a number. And ah. I'll show you. Yeah, it's like, you know, selecting this, you know. Oh, that's a lot. And, and, and it's like, it's clicking this button. That's three clicks too much I don't, for this me. is like too much, <laughs> like my, I, I freak, my, my finger's getting sore. So much clicking, so much clicking. Scrubby, like make it a scrubby ah. dial. I don't know why it's not a scrubby dial like Illustrator or like Photoshop. In Photoshop, it's a scrubby dial. You hear me, people? Anybody? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I don't know. It's just some of those. But again, this is what, what I like about, you know, expression. It makes it like, easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't roll my arms like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but and the next level, like, it's funny. We just added the stroke feature. Yeah. And uh, r immediately I was like, give me all the strokes. Because now I want to add more strokes to this, mm. like I can in Illustrator. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at with some of this, because I would love to have it like sort of three levels of colors. Mm -hmm. um, there's ways around that we can duplicate this, yeah. all this stuff. But this, Black, this Black works. Lotus asks, do you save the Illustrator file as a PNG first? Uh, no, just saved it as oh. an Illustrator, an AI. St great question, by the way. Great question. So it's just a straight up Illustrator file. Uh, this could just as easily be a PDF, by the way, or a PSD. Mm. So use what you have or what whatever workflow you're doing. I will say just be aware of um, your layers. 
a, fla a little flash forward, Dara, just to hold your attention. Let's take okay. take a look at like some of this craziness. Like here's here's a, a PSD that I could bring in. What I have done with this PSD, we'll get into this layer. Is like I've definitely I'm mindful of how I organize all my layers and how things are like grouped into smart objects because I, I I've grouped everything on, on the on how I want to animate them. Mm -hmm. So that's a step I do. It's not just like save out my PSD with my millions of unnamed layers. Group your stuff, being mindful of like how you want to animate it and what you want to be video. Mm. Uh, but that's going to be fun. So that's one of our classic novels today. Um, but right now we're just dealing with our classic, such a generic, classic <laughs> novels. Uh, let's change the name to somebody's name in chat. Okay. Shall we do that? Yeah. Let's pick, pick anyone. Let's pick uh, Kai... Uh, oh, we can... Ky Kylie Custon? Is that Kylie? So you have to forgive us. Ky Kylie? Paul and I are both Kylie. hard of seeing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we'll call it Kylie Classics. So this is like, hey, guess what? Congratulations, Kylie now owns a classic book yeah, publishing company. Yeah, go Kylie. Congratulations, Kylie. <laughs> You're like, whoa, wait, there's so much responsibility. I didn't sign up for this. I was just here to watch. <laughs> You're our new CEO. <laughs> Yay. Good to have you here. <laughs> That's funny, so. Um, but here this is, this is all kind of broken down, pretty straightforward. Um, and then I want to animate it. So this is, this gets me excited, so I got to calm down, but it's just mm. really cool. By the way, I know I can take this Illustrator file and bring it into After Effects. Sure. Will I? Probably not, just because it's a lot of work. Okay. L like. After Effects you gives you so much control, and like all I really want to do is just like animate this, and I could do that in Express right over here. I'm just grabbing zoop, animation, click, and then right up here we have all these options, so Ooh. we can have it kind of come in. So let's have it bungee in or drift in, and uh, grow in might work. I actually like that. Ooh, that's kind of cool too. Very cool. I'm just kind of enjoying these. I think this is good because it feels like a sticker, so it's like getting slapped on. Yeah. Maybe. Tumble I'll never use in a million years, but you know, it's there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We'll have it loop or looping. Does it, does it bob? Does it breathe? Does it blink? Uh, you know, you're just like, oh, what's, what speaks to me? I think spinning works. Spin works. But let's spin not make it spin so fast. <laughs> Oh, I'm rolling my R's again. I guess I'm realizing how much I've rolled my R's. <laughs> That's super powerful. Oh, oh, look, guess what? This is this is what I love. I love the fact that we say personality here, just because it <laughs> makes sense to me. Yes. Like, what's the person? There, I guarantee you, there was an engineer that had some big old long statement for this. Mm -hmm. But then there, I'm sure somebody internally on the manager's <laughs> like, calm down. Let's just call it personality because that's what you're giving it. Yeah. So personality. Yeah. At least, yeah. I it doesn't work on people. It. it just works on designs. Yeah, no, I giggled oh, when I first saw it because of the, the adjectives that yeah. they picked, right? Oh, yeah. Soft, Soft smooth, smooth, strong, strong energetic. energetic. That's you, energetic. Oh, I got to calm down. <laughs> I'm only like this in the morning. Give me, give me 2 p.m. and it's like soft mm. after I come down off my caffeine high. But isn't this, isn't this, what is energetic actually? Well, first off, I have the intensity really low. I think you'd be able to tell more on the, with the, uh, the the bob or yeah. the bounce and the some of those really other move. things. Yeah. Um, but in general, I like how how this just has some the ability to kind of jump in. There we go. Kylie's cla Kylie Classics. What shall we do with this? And is this working? By the way, as a design. So this is so typical. By the way, is, is coming in and then start you start changing your mind and messing with the design overall because mm -hmm. that's kind of where I'm at now is is kind of changing it. Like, does it need a shadow? Things like that. So I don't know. Shadows is looking kind of making it look lame. Does it? Help, I help kinda, me out. For me, going back to your your you know you're a designer. If for me, mm -hmm. it's uh, the contrast. Okay. Like if there's oh. too little contrast between. Words and background. I'm yes. just like, and that oh, shadows and lifting call. it is like the way, okay. like you know, that's good, what I usually uh, do. And good, I love it. Yeah, I, I think that's a very good point. Um, just bringing up the fact that is are people going to be able to see this design? Mm -hmm. um, 
is is it illegible? And I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here in a second that's gonna be awesome. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Paul, can you just do can you just do something cool, please? <laughs> no. Just joking. But this add-ons. So this add-ons. is what I was thinking about. So this is um this is amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for the number of add-ons that uh, that get developed. But um, uh, da, 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 we are looking for color. We have color designer. We don't want that. We want. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just going through these. Color blindness. Mm. This is what I was thinking about in yes. terms of like. Is it is it legible for most people? So we could take a look at this, right? Here's let's open it up in the external previewer, and here we have a chance to see what like full color blindness. This mm-hmm. is is there enough uh, there enough contrast if you're if you're color blind? Right. Is just what I was thinking about when you said this, um, and then you can kind of go through. First off, I think this is a great color scheme. Mm-hmm. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Ah, I kind of like that. I think that kind of looks. See, look at how the shadow changes. Look at how muddy the shadow gets. Right. So, super interesting. Yeah. Look at that. That gets knocked down. Yeah, no, this is great that you brought this up because I actually went to a creative retreat that our student events team hosted in Los Angeles. Shout out to people in chat if, you've, uh, if you went to that event. Um, but one of the things that came up a lot is accessibility in design. And a lot mm. of the students really wanted to learn how to make their designs more accessible. So I think add-ons like this, the colorblindness tool is a really great way to check your design to make sure, you know, your design's accessible for all audiences. Yeah, exactly. Because you're, this is, I mean, it, yeah. Everything you just said, perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is a good way to yeah. check. Here's another thing. This is I love, is uh, where is the attention insight? Check this out. This will be pretty easy mm-hmm. overall. I think this, especially if designs get complex. So we've checked it to make sure that like everybody can see it, everything stands out, all that good stuff. But where is the person's eye going when they right. see this? This is a really straightforward design, so I'm not worried about it too too much, but we could use Attention Insight to test this design. So um, that's what I'm selecting, Test Design. Select that, Test Design. Come on, buddy. And that will, again, it's, it might be because it's a video. Oh, there we go. Took a second. But now it's testing it. So I don't know how this works. By the way, there happens to be a Photoshop plugin from Attention Insights as well. So you could do mm-hmm. this inside of Photoshop, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, I believe it's AI powered. AI and make, powered. And it makes predictions based on what's on the screen. I don't, okay. I don't, I'm not sure if it's powered by Firefly. I don't think so, but. Yeah, and this would be like, a, you're, you're probably right, yeah. Um, and it is like a third party plugin, so I'd have to kind of see. Mm-hmm. Um, may, maybe we're, maybe it's tracking our eyes right now through the webcam. <gasps> Are we being watched? (laughs) Are we being? Oh wait, there's five cameras here. Yeah, I think we're being watched. (laughs) Uh, There's a question from (laughs) DJ Boogie saying, "Is Express better than PSD when doing animations?" In your opinion, yes. In my opinion, yes. It totally depends on what you're doing. So we won't worry about this, right? Whatever, Mm -hmm. Um, because it's so fast. Like, first off, let's close this. Let's go in here, edit timeline. Here's here's my animation of this doing. Let's let's go just a little bit more nuts with this. And let's have a race, right? It's like, okay, you have your file in Photoshop. Okay. I have mine here. Like who who can animate faster? Oh look, we have that sliding in. Oh you win. Oh this. Yeah. <laughs> oh you win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> that was I that didn't was even easy. open the program yet. Didn't have time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like and by the way, I love Photoshop, but mm-hmm. for this quick stuff. I'm just like doing, duh, 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 you know, doing that. Even for this background, let's do this. Detach page background, scale it up. Hold in. I'm just checking some of the some of the shortcut keys too. Um, we'll scale it up. We'll still make sure it's underneath everything, uh, everything like soaks. Uh, 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 uh. Um, and by the way, brand new is this right click menu right yes. as of. I don't know, yesterday. I was this so is, excited to see this. Yeah, it just makes it so much easier. And the keyboard shortcuts. Send to back and the keyboard shortcuts. Ooh, baby. Yeah, you can so there you duplicate, go. Yep. lock, crop the image right from the right-hand menu. I just. Oh. Yeah, that is so nice. I'm glad they put the, the shortcut keys in there. Oh, and yeah. notice how they're the same as, as in, well, geez, PowerPoint, Illustrator, Photoshop. Like, mm-hmm. for all of the apps, they're the same. Uh, but in this case, I'd w- I want to do like a just a, a slowly moving animation kind of in the background. Like, is it 
Is it breathing or drifting? Yeah. Uh, not wiggle. Wiggle. No, <laughs> I mean, I do like, or we could do the, Yeah. you know, we, we'll just do a bob and we're going <laughs> to slow it down a lot because we just like want to give this like some motion. Mm -hmm. Just keep it, we want to keep this nice and soft. Yeah. But speed wise, oh look, we just did this and it took two seconds. Wow. Right. Amazing. And by the way, like, oh, we want to, we want classics to come in later. Here's that classics words right down here. I know it's kind of small. Show layer timing. We'll turn that on. Boop. Oh, there it is. Our layer for Love classics. It. And we could have that come in uh, a second later, right? So now it's going to animate in zip classics, right? Oh, love that. So that's what I would do. So I start to yeah. start to t stagger these a little bit. Roland said um, an express can export export 4K in a snap. So it's Ooh. 720, yeah. 1080, and 4K video. Yeah, and you could, that's a good point because, so f that's, thank you for bringing that up because it does bring up the whole idea of like what size this is. Mm -hmm. You you do have to go into resize. So if you click resize, this is where it will say, because this is, I just made it 1080 for a post. But this is where you could scale it up. So we could do that, actually. You wanna? You wanna? Yeah. YouTube. Well, the YouTube video oh, size. We have, we have a bunch of video requests. Okay. Said oh, we're doing video. Yeah. Heck yeah. Roland said transitions, please. DJ said, yeah. can you add music in the yeah. background? Ooh, ooh, let's do it. We might add some music, Paco. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> not yet, though. But not we not might yet. be adding some music. Oh, we were like, ah, we don't need audio. Yeah, we were so confident we were gonna that's use audio. Me, that's that's such me as me as a designer. So I'm like, I don't need audio because I'm in everyone plays with the headphones. Okay, so that will be there. By the way, I just clicked duplicate and resize. We made these two different versions. Now mm -hmm. we have this YouTube size. This still needs to be scaled out, right, and all that stuff. But it is at that size that we want it as. And mm -hmm. uh, again, adjust adjust your content accordingly. You can also. Uh, fit to background if you click the video, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I think well, it, since it's bobbing, like, I, I got to make it bigger. Oh, got it, got it. You That's need extra room. I'm trying to zoom out. Okay, let's do this. Let's zoom. Yeah, so I need to, I kind of need to make it a little bit bigger. Something, something's going on here. <laughs> okay, let's grab it. So, anyways, you get the idea. I'm, I'm going to go back to my to this original design, if that's okay. So people said video and stuff, mm -hmm. adding People's video. Real, people are really interested in the video stuff. Yeah, let's do 100%. Let's do that right now. I'm gonna keep this like simple. Mm -hmm. We'll go right over here. Photos, video, yeah. audio. Sunray Vibe said, can you repeat the name of the software? Is this Illustrator? Uh, in, Illustrator. A, in a way, yeah. It started out as Illustrator, which thank you so much for reading the <laughs> title for this live stream yes. or whatever. No, but we are in Adobe schedule. Express now. Yeah, we're in Adobe Express. Mm -hmm. Just to recap, it started from an Illustrator file. I do my main designing here. And now we're just like having fun now adding video because you guys are like, hey, can we add some video here? So here's some clips. Um, I'll just kind of jump in and grab one of these. Ugh. Drop it down here is all I'm doing in my timeline and we've extended it out. Probably what I would I mean, there's a number of things we could do, but I like how fast this is, by the way. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from this to then like our video, like so. Ooh. And this is where it's really important, I think, once you start adding video, and I know Katrina knows all this stuff, like show layer timing, because yeah. for this video, I, I feel the need that I need to shift it. Mm -hmm. So we'll make this shorter first off. And uh, what do we call this again? <laughs> A slip, slip edit? editing. Thank yeah. You. So, like, because we don't we don't see the book at all. Well, we want to see more of it sooner. So I'm doing a slip edit. Yeah. And now it's like right there. Um, I love it. And Roland and has request to please show the remove video background feature. Okay, I could do that. I'll show it to yeah. you. I I, you know, um, would like to. We can do think it. We could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah, why not? I have a I have a pro tip. <laughs> It does take a second. Hi, Roland. It's good to see you, man. <laughs> um, Thanks for making Paul do things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for... Hey, Roland's like, impress me. How about this? <laughs> um, anyway, so so one request at a time. We'll, this is brand new as well. So we have this. We've 
we've done our slip edit, so that comes in. I'll add some text there. I'll probably add a transition, and that's what I was gonna get to. Click right here, add transition. Click and ready for that long list. Oh yeah. So, no, just kidding. There's just dissolve. <laughs> for right now. For More right coming now. soon. Okay, you promised. I'm waiting. S soon is. There'll be another stream with us. We'll come back yeah. when there's more. Yeah, we'll, Don't we'll worry. come back and, but like, look at that. So we can just kind of get so that dialed sweet. in and just like, like that, and then we could add our our text and turn this into something more meaningful. Add your text, uh, book, uh, club, every Friday, um, whatever. This is what I wanted to show though, because this is awesome. This is where I think Express totally edges out Illustrator in terms of quickness. Ooh. And by the way, I'm an Illustrator guy. Like, I love Illustrator. Like, I just want to turn this into a badge. First off, I straight up love Dynamic. I want 15 more of these types of things. But okay. Dynamic, click. Okay, now it's this block text that I can uh, adjust accordingly, right? And everything just kind of reflows. Oh, but we'll do you it. one better, too. Because first off, we've got to change the font. Yeah. Let's go with like a sans serif because that, or excuse me, a serif because it uh, just fits better. Mm -hmm. And then our badges here as well. So this is where it starts to edge out. Let's put this, you know, in a in a shape or something around it, and everything just kind of reflows. So this is the functionality I want in in, um, mm -hmm. in Illustrator. Like yeah. boom, boom. I love that. There we have that. Um, Kylie's classic. Lord Kira asked, "Do you think this will replace all of the yeah. Adobe tools?" <laughs> It could for you, sure. Is <laughs> is it going to be full blown Illustrator and Photoshop? No. the The short answer is, I mean, I don't. The short answer is, I don't know. <laughs> no, because <laughs> I can't foretell the future. I will say mm -hmm. that, like, why would we rebuild everything that's already made in this product? Yeah. Like, why would we rebuild all that stuff? Yeah. If anything, Adobe Express is more of the tool to help you work with those files and make something quick, like stuff for social media, things that you wouldn't want to open, you know, mm -hmm. Photoshop or Illustrator, start from complete, com yeah. to complete scratch for, you know? So. Yeah. Oh, and you're exactly right. That's that's something we didn't, like, talk about, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get there. The, I, I think for me as a designer, if, if, I'm, if I'm starting a book club as a thing just on the side, I might not want to open up Illustrator every single time. Mm -hmm. Let me just jump in here, you know, grab a grab a template and just modify it is all I would do. Exactly, yeah. So for quick things, heck yeah. Whether you're a designer or non-designer. Exactly. Right. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, it's probably not going to. Mm -mm. Um, just help you work faster. Yeah, heck yeah. And this, <laughs> this is actually working pretty fast. Sorry, I got to pick this font. This is going to bother us, right? We're, we can all see that this, like, Abril, fat face, that, that's what we need to um, change this probably to. That's what I would do. Oh, that. And Susan asks, is there a way to get video longer than five seconds? Uh, yeah, it should. There's, there's clips that are longer for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, and you could also, like, upload your own. Yes, so any duration clips will be um, read in Express. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What I love is the fact that I just like searched, I searched, I picked, I dropped it in like I didn't have to go, I didn't have to go to another website, download it, unzip it, mm -hmm. put it in the right, like go through all that process. It's like all right here, which I like absolutely love. Um, anyways, so there that is. Oh, let's do that. Let's see if we can, what else can we do with this? Oh, look at this. Like, I love this too, what? like blur. I'm looking, what? I'm just like kind of like giving it some depth because <laughs> oh, notice nice. how, how this is like, this has that shallow depth of field. Yeah. So I'm just kind of trying to, to like make it, maybe make it match. It might hurt your eyes. Maybe that doesn't work. By the way, the resolution, since I've increased the size, that's why the resolution is kind of bad. That's like my fault. Mm -hmm. Oh, your I'm, fault. I'm getting so excited about all of this. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Like, Give me some of your what, energy. What I haven't I had do? any coffee today. He's oh, had two. I'm I know. zero. I'm, I'm hoarding them over here. Just hoarding <laughs> them all. They're all off camera right now. He has <laughs> yeah. like three, four cups right next to him. <laughs> it's true. So check this out, because where did this originally come from? It came from my Creative Cloud library. Yes. And then I have this abstract marble. So I'm like, I don't have to go in and doubt like that same library 
is right over here. So we'll jump into your stuff, brands and libraries. Ah, Boba Bear, RIP. Oh. <laughs> uh, we have stories on that later. Yeah, we just gotta <laughs> change. It's 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 fun. It's a project. Yeah, it's a top secret progress <laughs> project that nobody should know about. I'm glad we're not like live streaming right now or any. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, Betty asks, is the app for Express on iPad different than on the computer? So as of right now, um, yes it is. So this version of uh, Adobe Express we're working in right now is desktop only, um, but the mobile app will come out very soon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I just I just pulled this in, um, but what's nice is like, you know, even this quality, maybe it's not, it's kind of low res, but I can grab really anything from that same library and drop mm -hmm. it in like I'm doing now. It's like may maybe we do want to try something maybe a little more nebulous like this, which mm -hmm. kind of kind of matches. Yeah. Right. No, that is a good question though because one of the most common questions I get is like how what hap what should people do if their photos are pixelated on the canvas? So yeah. That is a common problem. Um I would ch I would check your resolution. Mm -hmm. What is kind of concerning is this is 1080 by 1080. Um and if I open up these assets, I'm, I'm curious if I just double click on this. Mm -hmm. It's it a couple of things. It's definitely the size of the canvas, but also like internet connection and like even rendering. Because sometimes when I pull in stuff from Adobe Stock, it'll stay pixelated for a moment. But mm -hmm. then um, after yep. I give it a couple minutes and then it clears itself out. Yeah. It's um yeah so it does it's it, it serves up the low res version and then loads up the high mm -hmm. high quality full res version. Yeah. The issue might be like the the size of this. So that's what I was going to look at. Like image size. Polly asks, this is, is it big. Phil's coffee? Heck yeah. <laughs> As sponsored by Phil's. Not coffee. actually. <laughs> Where? Not really. Not actually, but yes. Do you Paul's favorite. You know like I like Oh, look at that. Like, <laughs> I, I bring this from home. I bring this from Colorado, like, every time. This oh. is, like, my, and then I put it in this. And actually, I probably have one. But anyway, so, yeah, sponsored by Phil's. <laughs> not no, actually. Not really. <laughs> I'm waiting for that sponsorship. No, just kidding. So we have that. I, but this is really exciting because now I'm thinking, as I look at this, why do I even want to deal with a still image in the background? Mm -hmm. Like, this just opens up all these opportunities. It's like, heck yeah, I would love for Illustrator to, you know, for me to be able to load up video. But let's rather than me searching my library, let's search for abstract in video, mm -hmm. right? And like, maybe we can have something cool in the background that's actually live video. And this gets really fun. Like, so let's, let's drop this video in. Love it gets that. a little space agey, right? Kind of don't want that, but... Um, Fill video, right click, send to back. Let's get rid of this. I say we just get rid of that one. Ooh, maybe we won't. Another thing we try. Like a, a multiply blend, a blend mode. mode. Yeah. Your favorite? So we're like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> they doesn't can we all agree that doesn't say Kylie's classics? Like it just doesn't read it from a design standpoint. Mm -mm. Should we fix it? Yeah. I'm just gonna delete that. And then Behance Chat is going crazy over the coffee. Howard said, "Get some coffee." <laughs> Reverb Mike, coffee. Reverb Mike said, "Coffee first, then oxygen." <laughs> oh, tell me about <laughs> it. Lance, are you in Telluride? Awesome, Telluride's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's been ages since we've been there. So awesome. Yeah, everybody, feel free to in chat tell us where you're from, like your exact home address. Uh, Just joking. No. <laughs> That's why you're my host. Calm down. Paul, <laughs> Calm <no>. down. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of junk mail to send your way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just forward to. Just kidding. Um, here I'm doing the fancy like replace because okay. we want to go. Let's. Ooh, actually, I did like the clouds, by the way. Like even something that just it says like these clouds. There we go. Are we, are we, uh, are we improving this? Are we? Ooh. Can we? Can we do some fun, you know, effects with this, for instance? So just like we'd change um, an image, I'm editing. I'm changing this video, and it just has a nice tint to it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna trim this up. Boom. We've spent enough time on this. I kind of need to move on to the other one. Oh yeah. Uh, you guys kind of get the idea. 
we went from nothing to a lot of things. Let's add some animation to this because it's just begging for it. That's kind of like what you start realizing is like everything needs. Let's give it a little bit, just a little, just a little, um, like even a fade in maybe there. Shrink in. Sure, why not? So we did. We knocked out our. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I'm struggling with the shadow still. That's okay. While you're working on that, I have a question on Behance from Robert saying, you can convert a multiple page PDF in Express, but you can't save it as a multiple page PDF, even oh. though you can see all of the pages in Express. Re uh, do you have a solution yeah. of where he can report the problem? Because yeah. honestly, I, that shouldn't happen because when you download multiple page projects, it saves it as a zip file, mm -hmm. and all your pages should be there, Robert. So. Um, if you're experiencing that huh. issue, where can people go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. Don't know. Well, well, <laughs> you can definitely <laughs> leave. <laughs> sorry, you can definitely feedback. Leave feedback in a multitude of places. One being the Adobe Express Discord. There is a feedback channel you can leave. Um, also. You can, um, what's it called? There is a, what other spaces do you have? Leave a, uh, Discord, probably Discord. within the within the app, there should yes. be a way to kind of report this stuff. But I'm also not like, of course, report there. But yes, that's and then um, also the Facebook group as well has a lot of our uh, product team in there. So you can drop your question in there and someone can help you out directly. Yeah, here we go. We have, and I'm glad they pointed that out. So here's like, I went straight to learn for finding out things. Submit an idea. Mm -hmm. um, as well are like two places and then we have help and resources exactly so support community sweet there like you that. go yeah so if any of y'all out there are experiencing any bugs glitches if there's a feature that you want to check out definitely hit up the community spaces for adobe express i'm sure uh, the mods if you can drop the links in the chat that would be super helpful um but yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's perfect. That's a good question. Or send all your DMs to yeah. Paul. I was like, do you want me to give them my email address? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Same thing here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And by the way, like, we already too. told you about our social media. So I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's why they're there is for people to, like, get in touch, right? That's exactly. What, it's, a social, it's a social thing. So, um, you know, made on hashtag Adobe Live in... Adobe Express started as an Illustrator file. Right, super easy. Um, hashtag live your best life right there. Um, and again, that's that's uploading. I can. This is also very nice with the scheduler is like even just using Express for the scheduler alone, uploading your content, you know, from your desktop, just FYI. But in this case, it's it's going to do the video. Now nice. let's go into something. I might. I, I'm glad. Uh, I'm I'm glad I have sort of a uh, you know sort of a, a second hour. If I could be honest with you, I yeah. wanted to get into like I was working on this design. So it's like okay, we're talking about classic novels, um, and uh, I wanted to kind of take you know some of those cla classic novels and bring them to life. And uh, so that's that's the plan now. Sort of even going into. Uh, the next hour, just FYI. Mm -hmm. um, and I was going to work on, you know, 20,000 leagues under the sea. 20,000 leagues? That's way too many leagues. So many leagues. Oh. Leagues. But here, here's, uh, here's one design that I was going to do. Don't even really need to worry about that. This is pretty straightforward, just like this classic one was pretty straightforward. I went ahead and made something, like, way more advanced. So let's take a look at it. Uh, you know, this one. So let's go a little bit more nuts like Ooh. this, right? So, um, and let's take this, even this original one. Here's my original. Nice. So opening this up and uh, just taking a look at all this stuff. Yeah. And while you're getting set up, we had some people answer where they're tuning in from. Kylie's from Anchorage, Alaska, uh, Lance, Seattle, um, Chris Casanova, New York City, Mr. Yes. N, West City, um, let's see, 
Oh, so yeah. I'm looking at two chats right now, y'all. It's wild. Uh, Hiva on Rehands is from Texas. Jimmy from Maryland. Hello. Don from New Jersey. Wow, we have a lot of people everywhere today. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. New Jersey to Alaska. And then I think somebody, some people might still be in Europe, too, which is probably Europe pretty late awake, for them. Yeah. So... Um, but yeah, here's here's the original design. I did want to, I think you'd be interested in this, Katrina. Ooh, I'm always interested oh, in by design. The way. So he, just so you know how this was put together, like um, here is just some, um, I went ahead and made this brush. So here's my brushes. So we'll just drag this out. Oh my gosh. The, these are the components. Like all I had to do is uh, make this one piece, drop it in here, uh, make it a pattern brush, click OK. And now I'm like, you know, just kind of treat the corners the way I want to like auto center the content. So just kind of did that one thing. But essentially I took that one little block and now I have um, a brush made out of it right there. So there's my, there's my brush. Let me just kind of redraw, right? There's my brush. Oop. I'm waiting. New, new art has basically, turn this off. I always turn that Ooh. off because I'm like, I just want to continually draw with that. But this is kind of how you can make that tentacle. And by the way, I would start to conform the um, the um, the width. This is Ooh. like the width profile. So now we're getting something a little bit more fun. We'll jump in here. We'll change this to smooth. Like I know I went through a lot, but now we have these tentacles. Oh, if you could just, if I could draw a straight line. But now we have these tentacles for our like <gasps> our sea creature, and it's just like super easy to work with. How cool! Right? So, I think that's the most interesting thing about this uh, about this design. Um, and then the next the next step would be to you know bring it into uh, good old uh, um, Express, right? Because yeah. now I have all this stuff that I want to bring in. Mm -hmm. Now the the next process would be to um, basically like kind of get your layers and your content squared away as to how you want to animate them. So I kind of consolidated all this stuff, right? So all my waves, maybe the original was a little bit different, but this is, this is no different than um, when I want to bring this into After Effects, is that like I condense it down into manageable layers instead of pure chaos. So I, I started to organize a little bit more, and then I just like save it out. So again, that's our Kraken Illustrator file, All right? So let's go to our desktop. By the way, there it is. We'll just go ahead. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, by the way, let's go ahead and schedule that. <laughs> I didn't Wait. finish this Wait. process. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But here's the scheduler, so I could just do, uh, what time is it? Uh, uh, there we go. Boom. Just kind of finishing up the scheduler since, um, uh, you know, I wanted to show it mm -hmm. to you. Done. All right. So that was, that was loading up because it was processing the video. But look, this is all set to publish now like all of this stuff. There's my book club, right? That's all set to go. And I can start to move this stuff around. It's like, okay, I want that to be there, here. So nice, mm. right? This is so nice. How did I even get to this screen, by the way? Did it automatically load? I think it did. I think it did. Oh, that's great. Love it. Uh, and again, this is like hugely helpful. Um, and, uh, and now you know. It's giving me the weekly preview. I have drafts. Um, and here's, oh, here's the week, here's by the month. So I'm getting this monthly view, which mm. I think is awesome. All right, so we have that done. Boom, let's go back. Here we are on the home page. Let's take our design that I just showed you and uh, bring it in. And it might take a second because, you know, uh, just kind of depending on your internet connection, but overall it's, it's pretty fast. Uploading, converting. Could just as easily be a PSD, mm. um, or again like a PDF. Because what I've also done with this, by the way, is um, made a. I do have a PSD of it. 
So here's here's my PSD. Ooh, Ooh. I kind of want to load this one up. This one's cool. The Can we, detail ah. in that is so good. Yeah, and... darn it. So I did the same thing. Everything is like, I made them smart objects because I'm like, okay, I want to deal with all these tentacles as one. In fact, can we do that? We've already loaded up. You got eight minutes. <laughs> well, I love. Can you do uh, it? You know me. I love starting let's a new race. project with like five minutes left. I'm like, let's start this new Deadlines project. Deadlines in eight minutes. Let's <laughs> go. It. I'm like, let's go. I got time for one more. I swear to you, I could put me in coach. I got this. <laughs> so, Coffee's coming in hot. Coming in hot. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Take a drink of more caffeine. <sighs> yeah, but, just take a breath. You yeah, got it. Take a breath. It's okay. We'll see this load in, right? So. So, mm -hmm. Sometimes things, I have noticed this, and if there are any issues, like let us know through the, the, the community links that we showed a second ago. Because mm -hmm. I did kind of shift this stuff around, um, you know, Ooh. so it, but here, here's everything. So C, we want that to be kind of underneath the, those tentacles. We have this tentacle, I can bring it up to the top. Right, oh, I'm just so kind of reorganizing cool. stuff, but. This is really fun. Let's make sure our water is on the top too. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure if we tested this, but Roland asked, does it retain locked layers when imported in Express? No, no, it doesn't. Okay. okay. I mean, that, that would be nice. To be honest with you, it doesn't, it doesn't um, fully, it sometimes groups things mm. on layers. So it doesn't always respect your layers um, directly. It might you know, do some things. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is cool. This is an example of Illustrator file, Photoshop file, pretty much the same thing, <gasps> right? So oh that we have, oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, look what I did in here. I, I added these splashes. That is so, so that's, cool. That's the Illustrator file right here is these splashes at the top. Photoshop. Compliments of Kyle T. Webster, one of his brushes. Photoshop file. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fo Photoshop file. So this, these splashes, this is a case where we could get into some fun mm. things like animation, uh, looping, and like just like a jitter sort of like splashed up. Mm. So we'll do that a couple times in here. A little jitter. And then for the, the second layer, I can uh, like slow it down. So everything's kind of going at a different rate. Right. Again, we're just we're just getting the party started. Just getting the party started. Let's get, let's get, let's get. Everybody's like, do the tentacle. Have the tentacle come out and grab, <laughs> grab you in the face. Just like, it's right there. Big tentacle. <laughs> just latch into your cheek. We got to make this bob. So we have that kind of bobbing. Whoa, up that's wild. <laughs> so that's pretty fun, huh? That is you, so could get, fun. you could go like, ooh, like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, calm. Calm down, you crazy. You crazy Ooh. thing. Ooh. <laughs> this is amazing. We'll slow it down a little bit, but I like love it. that. So, anywho. Da, da, bob. S slow that one down. And then just just have fun. Uh, honestly, that's all I'd be, I'd be doing at this point. But tell me this isn't easy. Like Katrina, it's like, it's so easy. hey, designer, give me a file. You could be like, give me, give me your file, give me your design, designer, and yeah. I will, I will go nuts on it, and then you just like bring it to life. Yeah, Doesn't animate seem... everything. Animate <laughs> it all, right? You're like, oh, I'm gonna go on. It's too much power. It's too much power too soon. <laughs> like it is. It's like, oh, oh well. Oh. <laughs> so don't mind me. Just, just having some fun here. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's do Bob. I love it. Do you have any favorite animations? Uh, well, my favorite animation, I, I would pretty much call these presets. I think I think Bob is the strongest one. For you, yeah. Good old Bob. But it all depends on the design, because I think, you know, you'll use like jitter and the flickers, like that works for more graphic illustrations, maybe just like want things to have a little bit of movement. It totally just depends on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But also don't feel like you need to animate a lot of things because we can go and search for a video. We can do a storm Ooh. and uh, find something. Yeah, animating the background. We'll get a, yeah, and what's cool about this, because I do want to give it like that storm look. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's only returning, oh, that's photos. Let's go to video. It was only returning like a million results for that. But here's a, you know, here's a video we could drop in and... Uh, Play it. 
Is it stormy? That, Dark and stormy? It's supposed to be, yeah. And what I would do is I would, I would do a blend mode. So it's like screen. It's only going to give me the whites okay. of that. So it just give me, gives me the whites. We can't see it too well. So that's when I go into adjustments and I crank up the contrast. Mm. So it, it, that video actually doesn't quite look like it's playing, to be honest with you. Um, but um, like that's, that's what I do with this piece, is make it, probably rotate it and make it bigger. Zoop. We got probably only a couple minutes left, huh? Shoot, I might not get to this. I'll, I'll cover this a little bit later. I kind of want to jump to maybe the final and just kind of pick that apart, if you yeah. don't mind. Is that OK? Yeah. And we'll get into this more in the next round. We're going we're gonna to get to do some like some uh, Adobe Firefly in Express mm -hmm. and really take things to the next level like as a designer, using it, oh, directly right in here. Oh, look, you want to crack in? Crack in. You know, I'm getting ahead of myself, but you know, creating that stuff right in here and then animating it will be really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll just uh, see if I could jump to this this one. Same concept, fast forwarded, since we only have like a couple minutes. Like two-ish? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two-ish. Come on, Paul, pick it hurry, up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> so there's, there's kind of, there's roughly what's what's going on with like all those layers and everything. That is so cool. Right? And, and we could s still edit the timeline, select what we want, Right, right down here. It actually, I love how it shows a preview yeah. um, of these things. So you could see that this is the sp this is the video actually, mm -hmm. um, but you get a preview of what is selected. Oh, here's the waves, and then you could adjust accordingly. So that's kind of, I use I'll use um, the layers panel just like I do in Illustrator for selecting things in like Photoshop, mm -hmm. um, and then you can you know add your animation and and have it do this thing just like. Ooh, bobbing up and down. Yeah. And then you see the text moving, right? That's super cool. So the, the text is just a, I think it's drift. I think That's so too. Is, right? Does that look like, it probably looks like the drift. So let's select leagues, animation. Oh, sorry. Yo-yo, again, like, it looks very dramatic. Just slow it down, and mm -hmm. now you just, you turn yo-yo into a drift. Yeah, and I think it nice. has direction too. Oh, we should probably wrap up. <laughs> oh. Yes, well, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. But uh, stick around. Yes, but stick around because Paul and I will still be here. In a few stuck with us. <laughs> Come on, we gotta, it's going to be good. <laughs> we'll be talking about how to use Adobe Fireflies generative AI all across your Creative Cloud apps. So stay tuned for that.